Hey up! Today's video is a time lapse, so to speak, um, of me building this used oil burner. Uh, I had it fired up again. I actually got it quite hot because this back piece here is blue and all the paint came off. Um, I had it actually running on uh, used oil. The there's a fire up at the end of this video and that's just running on diesel. Uh, I found it very hard to control and the best way was to spend a long time heating it up and then it went work well. Anyway, here's the build. Just kind of walk you through my thought process on how I was doing everything. Uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, have a good day. Bye. Okay, so I've uh, put this pipe in. I put a flange on here, bolts to here, so I could keep it in, because I wanted to be able to adjust this so it was right in the middle. So this is level. So I can adjust it with these four bolts. Now I put this a piece of copper pipe in this um, conversion fitting. I can put flexible pipe in there. That'll go in here. I'll screw that down and then we're moving right along with the project uh, back in a bit okay so I've got the fire extinguisher here I put the flange on here I've got the holes here so I don't know how many I need so I put that so I can um, center it in through here plus pull it in and out and change the hole size I've got ready for the tank just the front piece of the tank I took a piece of this steel cut it off so it was close enough and just welded it on that's uh, good as it gets where I weld anyway marching on okay so I've cut this round piece of metal out I'm gonna place it over here weld it around like I did with this one I've bought a whole lot of fittings in bulk online I think four of these cost like nine dollars and bought a whole lot of this i'm gonna have a piece of plastic tube in here so i can see the flow rate uh this here i'm gonna end up cutting this off flush so i can okay so i got that circle piece uh welded on uh i don't profess to be a welder but it'll do uh now to drill a hole tap it to quarter national pipe thread um, and then mount them up uh, back in a bit so after testing that burner in here it's going to end somewhere here along here I'm wondering whether I need to put two of these starting holes so I can tuck some diesel with a paper towel back there and back here and then light them both turn a little bit of air on so it flows through gets that tube hot and then I can start the diesel through it to start getting it hotter and then once I got it really hotter then I can put the used oil so I'm debating do I put another one on I don't know I may try first and then add it later but next step now is I need to cut this off Certainly nice out here today. Uh, spring has started. Okay, so I've got this welded for my next tank. Uh, I drilled a few more holes in this because I didn't think I had enough holes. I tested it out before and it really was restricting the airflow. So I added eight more holes. Uh, okay, so I want to do a test before I 
do a test with oil. So I added a few more holes to this because I didn't think there was enough. Uh, so I added eight more holes. I think that's enough to bring it so it's even. The motor doesn't make noise change. I've had clear hose and I've got it temporary stacked up here and I've got a quarter of water in there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It's kind of cool, I can feel the air flowing. So I'm going to turn this on a little bit. Oh. You can see the bubble coming down. Oh, I can feel moisture. Ah, okay. Okay, so I've got everything together. Got the tanks welded on. I've got the base made. It needs another support this way from here down to there later. Uh, I've got the lighting hole here. Throw in some diesel with the rag, light it, and then slowly turn this on. I've got a thing here to get some of the air out to give me low flow. And then I can slide this forward when I want to run. And then I can adjust the uh, airflow. So I'll give it a burn soon.